Hi everybody. Today I have this issue of So Style Magazine and it is a, let's see here, vintage edition. I saw this at Joann's and I was checking out and I thought I just had to get it. Um, I think I have some of these patterns actually. Anyway, this magazine is um, a publication in the UK and so it's very expensive for us. It's what, $24.99 here. But it does come with some patterns. I think it's got three, three patterns. Um, I'm gonna open it up and show you what those patterns are. And then we're just gonna take a look through this magazine so you can all see it. I did one of these videos um, on this magazine a while back and it was pretty popular, so I thought, let me buy it and flip through it. I think my viewers viewers would really like it. So let's open it up. Okay, I have it open here and let's see what we got. Comes with Simplicity 8464, which is a 1950s vintage. It looks like it's a suit or just a jacket. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the jacket and the skirt. I don't think I actually have this one. I have plenty of 50s patterns, but I don't think I actually purchased this one. Okay. Next is this interesting top. It's Simplicity 8452. It's in the 50s. Let's take a look. There's some interesting little graphics on the back. So, some of you may be familiar with this style. I am not. If my grandmother were still alive, she would probably be able to say, oh yeah, I wore a top like that. Interesting, it's like a square, and you just kind of wrap it around you like this. Very cool. Next up is, okay, so they're all 50s. It's a dress here. Nice fit and flare type dress. So that's Simplicity 8592. As you can see, this magazine is in association with Simplicity. I didn't mention that before. And this is the dress. It has little ties at the front. Super cute. Okay, so those are the patterns you get. They say free, but you pay for it in the price tag of 25 bucks. If you wait for a sale at Joann's, you can get these $1.99 each and they're only $6. But then you don't get this nice magazine and we're gonna flip through it and see if it's actually worth it. Before I do, I just wanna show you that there's also this little magazine called Stitch, what is this? 36 pages, fast and easy projects in association with Brother. So we'll take a look at that and then here's some patterns that the magazine comes with and we'll figure out what those are for. But I have not flipped through this yet. We're gonna do it together, so please be patient. Let's see, it says fashion through the decades. Um, not sure about that because these are all 50s patterns, but let's see what's inside. We've got 29 inspiring projects inside. Hmm, okay. It's always hard to do these flip throughs because I can't like get the angle right. Okay, whatever. Let's see what we have. We have the contents. So I like this top. I'm going to start with this skirt and jacket, which is the Simplicity um, 8464. And it talks, so uh, here's a picture of the original pattern. And then there's a sewing Q&A. And frequently asked questions for making this outfit elegant or elegant outfit. So let's see what these questions are. Do I need to use interfacing when stitching the jacket in this pattern? Um, yeah, you should. What do I need to consider when choosing an interfacing? And advice on sewing patch pockets. What do I need to think about when making the kick pleat in the skirt? That's good. Does it vary depending on the fabric used? Very good questions. Okay, what does it say? So there we go. I think that Q&A is kind of helpful. And here it talks about fabric. Um, 
some tips on selecting and handling fabric for this jacket and skirt. Here's some ideas to pair with the jacket and the skirt. Um, you, you just wanted to wear the skirt, you give this cute little cardigan. And here's a top. And then a, I guess these are tops to wear with the skirts, yeah. Or under the jackets too, obviously. Next is the swing dress they're calling it, which is Simplicity 8592. What do we have here? More oh, expert advice. What are the questions? What do I need to think about when stitching silky fabric like sateen? How can I make sure that the neckline is correct? What should I consider when sewing the contrast bias binding on the neckline? And what's the difference between sewing an invisible zip and a normal zip? Those are great questions. I really like her shoes. In fact, I have some like that. Very similar. I love metallic. Okay, what is this? That perfect iconic vintage style. So, trouble with taffeta, pleats in the bust, darts in the back, well-balanced bow. Okay, here's some things it says to wear with the 50s. Three great looks for the 50s swing dress shoes and jackets oh this is super cute now there is a pattern that I have that you can make this jacket I will I think it's simplicity so I will put it on this video when I edit it but you can remake this jacket in any fur you want okay And then we've got the knit blouse. So this is interesting because I have not. I'm sure some of you are familiar with this, but this looks, this looks like an origami contraption thing. I'd probably get caught in it somehow, I, I tell ya. I can't do things that are, require much thinking to get into. Um, here, let's see, what are the expert tips here? We've got lining up patterns, creating a yoke, working with stretch fabric, and sewing with a drapey fabric. So those are some good tips. I don't wanna read them all out. I don't wanna make this video any longer, but if any of you want me to tell you what it says, let me know and I will reply to you. But for the sake of time, we are breezing through this. Then here's some looks for that top. Love the gloves and the skirt. That skirt too, the pants. And what is this thing here? Talking about cutting out patterns with accuracy using some nifty tools. So let's take a look. A rotary cutter, of course. This. Um, little tracing wheel, double tracing wheel, shears, pattern weights are great, saves time, so you don't have to pin. I'll just hover over that in case you want to pause the video to take a look. Okay, what is this? Give your vintage style garment some love with these helpful hints. Zipping up. Pattern will require you to sew a normal zip. Okay. Sewing a hook closure and pattern placement. And this one, ensuring a perfect fit. Yep, with a fit and flare, it's got to have a good fit. Is it machine washable? So what is this talking about? If the fabric's machine washable. Savvy snipping. This pattern can be made in sateen, so you want to use scissors designed specifically for fine fabrics. Yes, and I do recommend the Ginger Micro Serrated scissors. I will link those below in case you want to check them out, but I have them and I adore them. And this one's talking about hemming and transferring markings. So these are very helpful tips. All right. Now we're focusing on certain patterns that are not included in this um, magazine, but are still ones you can purchase from Simplicity. So we have a circle skirt, Simplicity 1200. This is definitely 50s. I believe I have this pattern. And this one is Simplicity 8610. So we have a jumpsuit and a little kimono looking jacket. 
That's what that pattern looks like. And next is Simplicity 1069 High Waisted Bottoms. I quite like this. I don't think I've seen this pattern before, or if I have, I just kind of skimmed over it, but take a look. I like it in the shorts. And I don't know, I just, when I see it made into an actual garment, I'm like second, taking a second look here. I might have to put that on my list. How about you? Next, we've got another, oh, a swing dress, 8051, rockabilly style. Very cute. I'm not sure if I have that, but I wouldn't be surprised if I do. So for all you rockabilly fans, that's a really cool looking dress. Next, we've got a really nice fitted looking sheath dress. It's Simplicity 8543. Take a look at that. So this isn't, um, you know, labeled vintage, but there's a lot of patterns that can be made to have a vintage feel without them having to actually be, you know, like labeled vintage, if you know what I mean. This one is 1606. I have this pattern myself. It's pretty nice. Again, it's an amazing fit, and this one is an amazing fit. I haven't actually used an amazing fit pattern yet. I believe um, watching a Viv Mom Sews video, she was talking about it, and I think that they have you use one inch seam allowances so that you can sew it and then perfect the fit so you have enough room to work with. If that is true, let me know. I'm pretty sure it is because Viv Mom said so. What is this? Okay, I've seen this pattern plenty of times, but Statement Shift Dress, 8544. Okay, this dress is making a statement on its own. I don't think we need to have this chartreuse color, though I think it's kind of cool. Alrighty, hovering over here to New Look, 6322. Now, Simplicity and New Look, same company, or Simplicity owns New Look, I think, so that's why it's in this magazine. So this is a A-line dress. Let's check this out. I like it. They put some good silhouettes there. That's what it looks like. Okay. A complete skirt and top with simplicity 86, oh my gosh, 56. Sometimes when you look through the lens and it's not quite focused, you can't understand what you're reading. So there's that one. Uh, I can't say I'm totally in love with that. This top's kind of cute. This is a boho chic tunic, 6513. This is the top. Very cute. So this is 70s. This tunic. Okay, so now we're moving away from the 50s. Um, this one doesn't say... Sorry, this one doesn't say what it's supposed to be. Oh well. We'll survive. Okay, next we've got a ruffle top using Simplicity 8454. Let's take a look at her. Hmm, I don't I thought puffy. I don't know. Maybe that one. But she's pictured in that one. And next we've got a casual jumper, which um, a jumper in the UK is word for sweater. So this is a sweater, it's a casual sweater for us Americans. 8529. Different views there. This is they're calling this 60s. I'm calling this one 80s, by the way. Are we sure if we didn't? No, I don't have a decade on this previous one. Okay. Sorry about that. There's a classic cape. This is very chic. Simplicity 8473. This is beautiful. And you can pattern hack it. This is um, one where you can kind of make it into different styles. And this one over here is a new look 6532. And this is 50s, they are calling it. The trousers, 
Ooh, those are nice kind of trousers. The color is 50s, huh? The swing jacket is 50s. But when I look at these pants, they're almost, you know, because they kind of flare out, it kind of make me think more 70s, but this is supposed to be a 50 swing jacket. And look at the, the neckline on that. Kind of like a, what do they call it, funnel neck? Why am I showing you a small picture? Let's take a look at her. Focus. That's really pretty. I like it exactly as it is. Very nice. I'm going to have to add that. I'm going to add this to my stash because I would wear every single piece in here. Which means I'm going to buy three patterns. No, I don't need to buy three. Because these are all separate. No, listen, I'm just rambling. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am getting over a cold, so I apologize. <clears throat> Understanding dressmaking patterns. So these handy tips will have you reading patterns with ease. Nice pun. With ease. Hmm. Measure up. So we have lots of tips here and there's some little glossary here to talk about what words like back stitching and back tacking and pleats, what all those mean. Oh, and this one, this side here tells you how to take your measurements has a little chart here, bust, hip, all that stuff. A little gra uh, graphics on back stitching by hand, which I don't do. But I think this is actually useful. Oh, back stitching by hand. And then this one is slip stitching. Slip stitching is very, very useful. So if you don't know how to slip stitch, learn how because it really helps to have in your skill set. And this one's talking about fabrics to flatter. Um, a pattern is only half of it. This is true. They have to jive with each other. So this is just giving some little swatches. And um, they're mostly, well, yes, they're UK providers on the end. But most UK places will ship to the US if you really want something, so. This is great because it's talking about good fabrics, like if you want to elongate your body, disguise you know, problem areas, if you want to slim and shape your body, if you want fabrics to add structure, and then if you want to highlight something, they're giving suggestions, and I think this is very helpful. For instance, here, they're saying to add structure, you want thicker fabrics, um, like corduroy or tweed. For a tailor jacket, so this is really useful. Um, up here, something called the Layla skirt. So what? Okay, I need to understand where, where is the pattern for this Layla skirt? Um, cutting guide. I don't understand. Okay, so here's a template. Here you can download the template here. Um, then it's talking about fabrics you could use, the lining. And the outer main fabric, they're using a matte gold lining and then a linen for the skirt. There's a lot of information in this magazine, and I tell you, I, I love the So Style magazines. They just, it's just great, and they're expensive if you want to subscribe. I mean, it's really expensive to get it here in the U.S., so... I don't think it's much cheaper to actually purchase it. Well, maybe it is online, I mean, at the stand on Joann's. But if you don't have access to it, you can you can subscribe to it. It's just not cheap. Anyway, um, decades of style. So we're looking at the 50s. Over here, we're looking at the 60s. If you like 60s, I'm going to send you over to Viv Mom Sews because she's a big fan of 60s and has lots of 60s patterns and makes. So I talk about her all the time on my channel. Because I'm, I don't know. So here we have 70s. This is cute. I like this top a lot. What is this? Similar to Diane Furstenberg. Yes, she did wraps. The wrap dress, wrap tops. I like the skirt. We've got the 80s. Hmm. I like the 80s, but I'm not so sure about their fashion. What is this? I don't know about that. I don't know about any of this. So like, this is interesting because... This is like paper bag, um, those pants that are popular now. So, and then this, this is kind of, this isn't so bad. 
80s. We have 90s, or is that it? That's it. So this talks about eight times the 50s inspired your style and you didn't realize it. I won't read that. And then there's more little article on the 50s fashion. Excuse me. Laurel trousers. So again, the template is um, so mag dot co dot uk slash so dash style these are super cute i mean i like these i don't know if i would have the audacity to pull them off i mean they're not crazy but i just don't wear prints on my bottoms and that's just me it's not that i don't like them i just self-conscious or something the eden dress there's the template again at their website this looks like a rifle paper com company print is it to find that out. It's cute. It looks like it is. Yeah, it's Rifle Paper Company. Very pretty. Cardigan. And again, you can get the template online. A little handbag. And 60s fashion. Look at this top. I'm actually working on one that's short sleeve, um, but you can download and print the pattern online. I really like, it's a pussy bow, um, duh, pussy bow shirt. I like those. I also have a recommendation um, for some patterns if you are interested in pussy bow, but you, you don't wanna get it here. the skirt this is what this looks seven is this 60s it's still 60s for sure and then we've got isla dress and all of these say it again you can get it online at this their website kitty cape 70s fashion what in the heck is this what no was this like an apron thing? What is this? Pinafore, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not into pinafores, I'm sorry. Amy skirt, which is a, it's kind of a circle skirt, right? Here's that wrap top I like. Check this out. Not hard to do. Is this, yep, this one is, oh wait. Where is this pattern? I think it's this, it comes with it. Cool. Huh. You know, the one thing I don't like, and it's so weird, with these wrap tops, like this is too high up for me, but then the patterns that I get in the big four that wrap, they're like way too low and I have to wear a camisole underneath. It's like, can I have a happy medium? Or I guess I can just alter it instead of complaining. It's a plaid bag. Oh look, we can subscribe for a thousand dollars a year. No, not really. That's the greatest thing about the UK. You go into one of their grocery stores and you can pick up these magazines. Like they're just like right there. Where for us, we have to go to Joanne's and track them down, right? Ugh, I just love the UK for this reason. Big supporters of home sewing. We have the 80s, which is, we've got the Joan blouse. And then we've got, what is this? Oh, just some ideas for the fabric. And this video is gonna be longer than I thought. Oh, here are those cool trousers that are like paper bag, like they call them the Amelia trousers. Super cute. And this pattern is, yes, this pattern and the previous one are both online. I will put that link below in case you wanna check out any of these patterns. This is super cute, this fabric, check this out. So this is the Aubrey dress. What is this? This looks like, yes, I was gonna say this looks like Cloud Nine. I love their fabric so much. They're great quality and their prints are adorable. The winter wrap, which is like freaking me out. It's almost like a straight jacket around her neck. Projects. Ooh, this whole thing is like, I mean, I'd go dizzy with all this, okay. The Deborah skirt. 
Let's see the Deborah skirt. What is this? Stitch a denim skirt. So template is online. It's like a, a wrap side tie skirt. Eve dress, lace effect Eve dress. Ooh. <laughs> what on earth? I don't think I would place the lace there myself, but it just makes her look wide. Okay, what do we got? Patsy skirt. Patsy. We've got a Valentina dress. That's super cute. Let's. This is like 50s looking. It's called Betty Page. Since the days of Betty Page and Chili Williams. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. I know who Betty Page is though. This is super fun. I'm a big fan of fit and flare type dresses, so. Ooh, this is cute. The Chanel jacket. You speaking my language. So a Chanel jacket. Yes, please. And they have a pattern? I might have to check that out. One day, folks, I keep promising you I'm going to make some. I will. However, this does not look like it fits her well at all. Look at this. It looks huge. Come on, guys. What else is this? Skylar skirt. Ooh, I like her shoes. I need to figure out where these shoes came from. That's the most important thing. Okay. Belinda dress. It's like a shapeless dress. Oh, here's a wrap dress. Reese wrap dress. This looks nice. See? She has to wear a camisole too. Can't have things poking out. Jersey. Jumbo polka navy. Oh. Okay, what else? Cable stitch culottes. So you can do little cute stitches down there and, and uh, make them cute and personalize them. Rosalie skirt. Georgina jacket. What is go what is this? Is this a post-it note stuck to her? What is that? No, it looks like a post-it note. I can't I'm not on board with that button. Tasseled bag. Don't you just love this magazine? I mean, there's just so many cool things. Oh, here's some templates. Okay, so you, these are all the templates. I guess that you could like print them and blow them up if you wanted, but you could just go online and download them probably in a more accessible fashion rather than blow these up. Okay, so those are the templates. And then if you want to do the stitching on the pants with this, you can use this template. So that's the magazine. Awesome. Here's the patterns. And there's this other little dude that came with it. We're going to take a look at it really quickly because this video is going to be super long. And my nose is running. Okay. So let's see. What do we have here? Stitch, learn, and buy. Oh, what is this? Is this? Oh my God. Okay. So there is a Dior exhibit in London at the Victoria and Albert Museum. I. It was actually here in the US and I wasn't able to go. It wasn't in San Diego, but I did, some of my friends went to it in Colorado. I would absolutely just love to go to this exhibit and at the v &A, which is Victoria and Albert in London, is my favorite museum ever. I would just, I might have to go there just to see this exhibit. It's, um, well, probably not because it's only until the 14th of July, so that won't be happening. Anyway, if you are over there and you can go, go. Tell me how it is. Send pictures. So what do we have here? Uh, what is this? I don't know. We're just looking at this together. We're looking at pictures. Have a, an Allison blouse. What is this? So you can download the template. So there's a template for it. If you're into that. Spring clean your sewing room. Oh God, I can't, I definitely need to do that. You should see it now. It is awful. Awful. Best foot forward. I am addicted to sewing feet. I have a Bernina, so they're like super expensive and it's, it's gonna bankrupt me. Amelia top. This is cute. I like the Peter Pan collar. 
I like Peter Pan colors. I don't wear them too often, but they're cute. Brother sewing machine. Something about boosting your career. I don't know what that means. Okay. We're just briefly going to review this because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Tips for newbie stitchers. Okay. You know, I subscribe to a lot of magazines, not a lot, but a few, and um, so I was thinking about sh like doing a video where I share, you know, because I like write in with tips, and there's there's readers that write in with their sewing tips, and I was going to kind of like share my favorite ones with on a monthly basis. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know. Oh, look at these machines. These are like machines that are like $10,000, aren't they? Yes! Oh my god, no. $10,000. I'm like, oh, this is more my price range. Seriously, 3,000 pounds, that's like almost double that in US dollars. Not quite, but you're the affordable one. 900 pounds. <laughs> okay, Lillian shift dress. This is cute. Template online again. Jean Genie. So she's made a bag. She's super happy with her jean bag. Okay, talking about repurposing pockets. Oh, look at You can make like um, holders for your stuff. It's kind of cute. Oh, it's not really my style, but I think the idea is cute. Machine road test. So what are you doing? Our guest editor reviews the brother Enovis VQ2 machine. Let's check this out. This guy is not cheap. If you have a Brother sewing machine, let me know which one you have and if you like it. I have purchased a Brother before. I liked it and I've, I used to have, well I still have the Brother Serger 1034D. That's a great little machine too for the price. I think I do like Brothers. Marion sweater. This doll which looks almost like a Cabbage Patch doll. Patchwork. Throw. And there is that. So for 25 bucks, you get all of this. I think it's great. I mean, three patterns, a nice magazine. I'll put the links below for all the relevant information, but let me know if you like this, if you like me sharing these magazines with you. I'm sorry the video was longer than I thought it would be. But I hope you enjoyed it.